Um, I haven't seen you in quite a while and I just figured I'd, I missed YouTube making videos and showing all kinds of things about my training and life and so why didn't you upload them you might wonder and that's for one big reason. Uh, I didn't feel like it because I injured my back a week before nationals and, and you might have seen that on Instagram. Um, and recovery is really really slow it's like it's about two months well it feels like forever but i think it's like one and a half months ago now that i injured my back what happened is i just t had two less i didn't take enough rest um and i overtrained. uh so one week before nationals i really really well but anyway um plan is to make a Q&A and show you my rehab training, tell you a little bit about a new training style that I'm doing at the moment and why I'm doing it. And so I asked you underneath, um, so I asked you in my Instagram post, why is my camera falling down slowly? I thought I am moving, but it's my camera. Oh, anyway, I, um, I asked for some, if you had any questions that I could answer in a Q&A kind of video, uh, first time I've ever done that, but I thought it would be pretty exciting because I get a lot of questions in DMs and underneath my messages, so I thought why not address them in one video. So here it is, I got some questions from you and I'll answer them underneath the footage of my video and I'm still... My, my camera is sliding that way, what, what's there? There is a TV there, what's so interesting? Focus on me, focus on me. Anyway, enjoy the footage and the video and the voiceover of the questions. And if you have any questions um, after this and you like this kind of video, then ask them below and I'll make a new video. Maybe if somebody ever responds, because I know only my mom watches this and my family. So here's the voiceover and I hope I have enough footage and I hope I have enough to talk about because I got three questions which are all three pretty interesting to answer and I'll start with the most logical one first. That one is from Lisbeth and uh, Lizzie is her Instagram name Lizzie2584 and she asked me what's the difference between powerlifting and bodybuilding program? Uh, hashtag noob <laughs> because uh, she does some lifting actually to recover uh, at the moment uh, from an uh, from a surgery um, but I thought that was a good question to begin with because I'm assuming that everybody who reads this post on Instagram knows the difference because I know it and that's not even always the case so let me explain um, but <laughs> so when I was looking this up on Google uh, because I'm not really an expert but of course I know the basics um, it's just easier not to have to use your brain before you know it gets overtrained and that's what happened to my back so I'm really uh, careful about that but uh, the thing that shocked me most is that it mostly said that like a bodybuilder trains higher volume and a power lifter doesn't give a fuck about aesthetics eh, well I think the truth is wider and more complex than that I know a lot of power lifters that look pretty lean because they like the aesthetics uh, or they want to be in a specific weight class because that's where they're stronger at. Um, and they're fucking strong too. And on the other hand, a bodybuilder who's been on a bulk, like eating a surplus and calories to get stronger and gain muscle, that went out of hand, out of control. He or she could look fat and not aesthetic or ripped or whatsoever. But I think that even if the trainings are much similar or different or depending on uh, how your body reacts to whatever program you are doing, the fact is that the main reason and uh, the main reason is that the goal of the power lifter uh, is to become stronger in a specific weight class and the bodybuilder to look very aesthetic and be ripped on stage. Um, so I guess there are many ways that lead to Rome, but uh, I think that if you see what you see in powerlifting programs is that they are built more around big three lifts, which are the competitions lift named bench, squat and deadlift. And for the bodybuilders, uh, they pay way more attention on aesthetics like symmetrical, uh, how symmetrical their body are and uh, all the different muscle groups that must be trained and balanced. Um, even though that's good for 
powerlifters too. I think the focus is more there on bodybuilder programs. Um, so a lot more effort could be used in training muscles that aren't necessarily or in first place the most beneficial for the big three lifts. And But also I must say that muscle size and strength, they do go hand in hand. Like building muscle is the main goal for the bodybuilder, but the powerlifter benefits from size as well. Um, most bodybuilders are pretty strong and even though I think it's a lot to say for genetics and what type of program you prefer. And I've also seen some not too big men or women who are powerlifting, uh, who are bodybuilding, that are super, super strong. Um, so I hope that answers your question. And let me take off to the next, next question. That is from David. And David is Davovas on Instagram. Hey, David, how cool that you respond. Um, well, his question was, how long is your bodybuilding program, uh, power building program? So usually with my um, power lift program, I'm getting confused in the words here. <laughs> um, brain is off. But okay. Uh, well, usually I take a lot of time to build my programs because I like to build them. I build them for other people in coaching and training. Um, but since I really wanted to get my mind of the fact that I'm not able to lift heavy in power lifts and that's what I want to do, what I love and what I know a lot about. Um, so to get my mind of the frustrating part that I couldn't do that and that's the reason why I lost my energy and my uh, motivation to go to the gym. I thought, okay, I have to do something really different and not have to think about what I can do, but focus on what I can do. So a lot of accessory works that are in power, uh, <laughs> bodybuilding programs. So I wanted to do like a power building program, which is a combination of bodybuilding and powerlifting. Um, and the one I chose, well, I like that it has the big three lifts in them, but also focus on hypertrophy in the accessory lift, like something that my big three lifts will definitely benefit from. And I used to do them a little too little before way way too little before so it would probably benefit as well um so the program i do now is from bodybuilding.com and it's steve cook's program and although i tweaked it a little uh, for now i like it and it's a lot it's full of supersets it's the most fun part in my opinion because like in 15 minutes you can do lots of exercises it makes it fast and energetic and it gives you like really a burned out feel and you're pretty satisfied even though you didn't lift as heavy as I used to. Um, so uh, the length, yeah, I'll, I'll finally ask uh, answer the question, but I got so many footage that I have to take some time. Sorry, David. Um, he, but it's eight weeks, and I'm not sure if I'll keep up because my suspension span is that long. I'm pretty quickly... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for the word. Anyway... Um, I'm not sure if I'll keep it up depending on how my back recovers and I guess I'll notice that fast enough because, well, there are also the big, big three lifts in there. Um, so I can build that up as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, I, I do have to breathe in between. But um, last question is from Romy and Romy, her Instagram is Hufflebuff, which is a pretty cool name, by the way. <laughs> um, 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 um. So... Her question was, if you had to do a different sport that is not fitness or powerlifting related, what would it be? And I thought that was a pretty fun, cool, interesting question. So thank you for that and um, let me answer it. Well, I actually had to think a long time about this question, mostly because I'm really quickly enthusiastic and I love all kinds of sport, although I hate watching them. I never watch them on TV except the powerlifting um, on live streams, but that's because I know the people who are competing and that makes it different. Um, but I've also done a lot of sports in my life. Um, I've done tennis, hockey, volleyball, basketball, golf, diving, swimming, uh, football, um, uh, baseball, surfing, windsurfing, judo, I'm, I'm, I have listed it, I can't remember all of them that quickly, but I did boxing, I did squash, I did running, I did skating, board and inline, and I'm probably forgetting a bunch more, but uh, 
let's just think about what I'll have to do if I stop lifting now and it help I think it should be something new. Um and I'm sure I'll find something fun. I always do. I mean I started powerlifting after I have to stop had to stop volleyball. Hmm, I see a trend. Anyway, uh because I dislocated my elbow during surf. Uh yeah, that was pretty painful. And that happened after and after again. So I decided to quit. Otherwise, I should have done an operation, but I didn't, didn't want to. So, um, but now we barely have, and now I don't have issues except sometimes for bench. But as you see, again, I'm rambling a lot and still not answering the question. But now you have all this information about me, and that's pretty cool, right? Okay, I'll go just answer the question. Okay, so I think I love to keep my aesthetics and strength because it's useful. But considering it can't be fitness related, I might pick a team sport. Um. It should be exciting though. So I I think if I had to choose now I'd choose uh climbing because I've always loved that. I uh, wanted to do that. I'm still interested in that. Uh it's not a team sport, but maybe I'm just not a team player. <laughs> uh anyway, I've run through the questions and uh thank you for sending them in. It was really fun to do. And if you have any more, just leave them in the comment section underneath this video and perhaps I'll make another one. Uh